Welcome students to online classes of mathematics for class 8. In this video, we are going to study the chapter number 9, which is algebraic expression and identities of NCRT textbook. And this one is the session number 3 for this particular chapter. Here we'll be looking at the exercise 9.3. Myself, Deepak Gautam, Digital Mathematics in Kendri Vidyalaya Sangatan. So let's start with today's class. The chapter number 9 algebraic expressions and identities divided into total 4 subtopics, which are listed here. Here in this session, we'll be looking at the multiplication of algebraic expressions and particularly we will be having some problem based on the multiplying a mon monomial by a polynomial okay so let's start so multiplying a monomial by a polynomial we have here two types of case first is a mon when a monomial is multiplied by a binomial or a when a monomial is multiplied to a trinomial okay so let's take one example of each case suppose if we have a monomial let's say 2x and we are going to multiply this with a binomial that is 2 3x plus 5xy okay and let's take another example of when a monomial is multiplied to a trinomial okay let's say 3x or you can take different variable let's say 3p multiplied to 4p square plus 5p plus 7 okay so what we have here is in both cases, we are multiplying a monomial. In this case, we are multiplying monomial by a binomial, and here we are multiplying a monomial by a trinomial. So first, we are going to multiply this monomial with the first term in this bracket. So 2x into 3x will result into 2 into 3 will result into 6, and x into x will give us x power 2, that is x square. Okay. Next, we'll multiply this monomial by the second term in the bracket, that is. We have here 2x and will be multiplied to plus 5x5. So 2 into 5 will give us plus 10. And this x and x will result into x square. And then we have variable y. Okay, so the result here will be 6x square plus 10x square y. Okay, so this is the case of when a multi monomial is multiplied by a binomial. Okay, now let's look at the case of when we have a monomial multiplied by trinomial. Okay. So here also we'll first multiply this monomial by the first term here, then to the second term, and then to the third term. Okay. So let's start. So we'll multiply this 3p to the 4p square. So 3 into 2, 4 will be 12. Then p into p square will result into p cube. As you know, when we are multiplying, the power of the variable will be added. As we have power 1 of p here and 2 power of p here, so 1 plus 2 will give us 3. Okay. So next we have this 3p multiplied to plus 5p so we'll write plus into plus will be plus so 3 into 5 will be 15 and p into p will result into p square okay next we have this 3p multiplied to 7 so 3 into 7 is 21 as we don't have variable here so we'll write the variable p okay so we don't we are not having any variable here so the only variable this term will have is p okay so the result is 12p cube plus 15p square plus 21p okay so that's how we multiply a binomial by a poly uh, a monomial by a binomial and a monomial by a trinomial okay now based on this we have exercise 9.3 now let's move to the exercise the exercise 9.3 in total have five questions so we will be doing all the five questions in this particular session okay so let's start with the first one first question is carry out the multiplication of the expression in each of the following pairs so we are given a pair of expressions okay we have to multiply to find their product okay so let's start with the first one let's try it answer number one part one we are having here 4p and we have to multiply these two q and r okay so let's start the multiplication first we'll write them in multiplication form that is 4p multiplied to q plus r okay so the step that we're going to follow is first we'll multiply this monomial by the first term of the binomial then this again monomial to the second term of the binomial okay so for this 4p into q will result into 4pq and this 4p into r will result into 4 pr so that's the product of the two expression which is one of which is a monomial and second one is was a binomial okay in similar way we're going to do with the other one so next one is a b and we have to multiply this to a minus b okay so let's first write them in the multiplication form that is a b multiplied to 
a minus b okay so method is same first we'll multiply this monomial to the first term in of the binomial that is a b into a will result into a square b and then we'll multiply this a b to the minus b so that's going to be minus a b square okay let's see the third one now now we have to multiply a plus b which is a binomial we have to multiply this to 7 a square b square which is a monomial okay so let's write them in the multiplication form that is a plus b into 7 a square b square okay now the method is again same we multiply this monomial to the first term of the binomial then this again monomial to the second term of the binomial okay so this 7 a square b square into 7 will result into 7 a cube b square okay then we'll write plus because we are multiplying the two positive term so this 7 into plus b will 7 a square b square into b will result as 7 a square b cube okay so that's the answer let's see the next one which is part 4 here we have to multiply a square minus 9 to 4a okay so we first write can write them in the multiplication form that is a square minus 9 into 4a okay so again this 4a multiplied to this a square will result into 4a cube and this 4a multiplied to minus 9 will give us minus 36 a okay so that's the answer of the part 4 of the question number 1 now let's see the part 5 here we have to multiply pq plus qr plus rp to 0 and we know that anything multiplied to 0 will always result into 0 okay so we'll write this as first in the multiplication form that is pq plus qr plus rp multiplied to 0 and since we are multiplying this expression to the zero so, so the result will be zero that's we know anything multiplied to zero will be zero okay so that's the answer of question number one of exercise 9.3 now let's move to the next question we have question number two here we are given a table in which we have asked to complete the table okay so in the first column we have first expression and the second column we have second expression and here we have to write their product okay so let's start with the first one i'm going to write them in the below part but you will write them them in the table itself okay so that's the answer number two part a so first expression here we have a and second expression is a b plus c plus d okay so let's try them again in the multiplication form that is a multiplied to b plus c plus d okay so when you multiply this a into b will be a b a into c will be a c and a into d will be a d so we'll write this result here okay so next one is we have x plus y minus 5 this which is the first expression we have to multiply these two 5 xy okay so let's try them in the multiplication form that is x plus y minus 5 multiplied to 5 xy okay so let's multiply this monomial to the all the three terms of the this trinomial so this 5 xy into x will result into 5 x square y and this 5 x y into y will result as plus 5 x y square okay and this plus 5 x y into minus 5 will result into minus 25 x y okay so that will be it should be written here next is part 3 here we have to multiply p into 6 p square minus 7 p plus 5 okay so let's try it p multiply to 6p square minus 7p plus 5 okay so let's start the multiplication this p into p square 6p square result as 6p cube okay and this p into minus 7p will be minus 7p square and 6 into plus 5 will result into min plus 5p okay so that's the answer of part 3 part 4 is now we have to multiply 4p square q square to p square minus q square okay so let's try it in the division form so here we have 4p square q square multiplied to p square minus q square okay so method is same again we multiply this monomial to the first term here so this will result as 4 
p power 4 into q square then we have minus this q square into 4 p square q square result as 4 minus 4 p square q power 4 okay so that's the product of the part 4 of the question number 2 now let's see the last one we have part 5 here we have to multiply a plus b plus c to a b c okay so let's try it in the multiplication form that is a plus b plus c multiply to a b c okay again this one is a monomial and this is a trinomial okay so we'll multiply this monomial to the all the three terms of this trinomial okay so a b c into a will result as a square b c then we we'll write plus a b c into b will be a b square c and a b c into c will be a b c square okay so you have to write these answer in the table here okay at their respective places so that's the answer of question number two let's move to the question number three here we have find the product of the following expressions okay so let's start with the first one this is answer number three part one here we have to multiply this a square into 2a power 22 into 4a power 26 okay so as i told you earlier whenever we multiply the same variable so the power of the variable will be added okay so before that we'll multiply the all the constant number so we have one here two here and four here so one into two is two 24 is eight so we'll get number as eight okay now let's add the power of the variable so we have two power here 22 here and 26 here so this 26 plus 22 will give us 48 and 48 plus 2 will be 50 so this result will be 8 a power 50 okay so that means whenever we add the same so multiply the same variable whenever we multiply the same variable the power of the variable will be added okay so let's see the part second now we have 3 sorry 2 by 3 x y multiply to minus 9 by 10 x square y square okay so in order to find the answer of this what we are going to do is first we multiply this number constant number to the constant number and the variable to the variable okay so here we have 2 by 3 into minus 9 by 10 okay and second back in let's write the variable that is x y into x square y square okay so this 3 when this minus 9 is divided by 3 will get minus 3 here and this 2 divided by 10 will get, give us 5 here so these two will be cancelled out so what remains is minus 3 by 5 okay and here we'll get uh, x cube into y cube so the result is minus 3 by 5 x cube into y cube okay so that's the answer of part second of question number three now let's see the next one part which is part three here we have minus 10 by 3 p q cube multiplied to 6 by 5 p cube cube okay as i told you first we'll multiply the numbers to the number that is minus 10 by 3 multiplied to 6 by 5 this will be multiplied to the variable which are p q cube into p cube q okay so this will be this 6 divided by 2 will give us 2 here and this minus 10 divided by 5 will give us minus 2 here so these two will be cancelled out so what remains is minus 2 into 2 will result as minus 4 okay and these variable will result as p power 4 and q power 4 as we have 1 power of p here and 3 here so that will be 4 and similarly 3 power of q here and 1 power of q here so that will be 4 q power 4 also okay so the next one is part 4 which is we have to multiply x into x square into x cube into x power 4 as you can see all the variables are same that is x so that the common variable here and the power of all the variable will be added so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 plus 4 is 10 so the answer is x power 10 okay so that's the answer of question number 3 of exercise 9.3 now let's move to the question number 4 
here we have to simplify the given expression that is in the first one we have 3x multiplied to 4x minus 5 at plus 3 and then you have to find its value for first x equals to 3 and x then x equals to 1 by 2 okay so first we'll simplify the expression then we'll put the the given value of the variable x okay so let's start the answer number four part a here we have 3x multiplied to 4 x minus 5 plus 3 okay let's solve the expression first first we'll multiply this 3x to the first term here and this 3x to the second term here so it's 3x into 4x will result as 12 x square and this 3x into minus 5 will result as minus 15 x then we have plus 3 okay so that's the simplified form of given expression now we are going to find its value for x equals to 3 first then x equals to 1 by 2 okay so let's start first for x equals to 3 that is 4 x equals to 3 that means we are going to replace all the x's in this expression by 3 okay so the given ex expression is 12 x square minus 15 x plus 3 okay so we'll replace all the x by 3 so this will be 12 x 3 square 12 into 3 square minus 15 into 3 plus 3 okay so this 3 square is 9 9 into 12 is 108 then we have minus this for 15 into 3 will give us 45 then we have plus 3 so first we will add the these plus terms that is positive term that is 108 plus 3 will be 1 1 1 and then we have this minus 45 this is 111 minus 45 will result as 66 so that's the answer for x equals to 3 okay now let's find for the x equals to 1 by 2 okay so now we are going to replace all the x in this expression that is 12 x square minus 15 x plus 3 by 1 by 2 so we have 12 into x square that is 1 by 2 square minus 15 into 1 by 2 plus 3 okay so this we have 12 this 1 by 2 square will result as 1 by 4 okay and this 15 into 1 by 2 will result as minus 15 by 2 plus 3 okay so this will be this 4 will give us 3 here so we'll have 3 by that is not we have 3 here minus 15 by 2 plus 3 okay so this 3 plus 3 will be 6 minus 15 by 2 and when you solve this you will get the result as 12 minus 15 by 2 after taking LCM so this will be minus 3 by 2 so that's the answer for this one value of this expression at x equals to 1 by 2 okay the result is minus 3 by 2 okay so let's see the now the next part we have part B of question number 4 here we are the given expression is a into a square plus a plus 1 okay and then we have plus 5 first we are going to simplify this expression then we will find its value of at a equals to 0 and a equals to 1 and also for a equals to minus 1 okay so the sim let's simplify the expression first here we have a into a square plus a plus 1 so let's multiply this a into the all the three term of this trinomial so a into a square will be a cube then we have plus a into a is a square then we have a into plus uh, plus one is a and then we have plus five okay so the simplified version of this expression is a cube plus a square plus a plus five now we are going to find its value for these three given values okay so let's start with the first one so for a equals to zero the value of the expression that is a cube plus a square plus a plus 5 will be at the place of a will write 0 cube plus 0 square plus 0 plus 5 so these three term will be 0 and so the result is 5 okay next is for a equals to plus 1 so the given expression will be a cube plus a square plus a plus 5 will be at the place of a will write 1 cube 
plus 1 square plus 1 plus 5 so th this will be 1 cube will be 1 the 1 square will be 1 and this uh, one, one more time 1 then we have 5 so 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be 8 okay the next one is 4 a equals to minus 1 here we have the expression as a cube minus plus a square plus a plus 5 will be let's replace all the a's by minus 1 so we have minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 5 so this will be minus 1 cube will be minus 1 minus 1 square will be plus 1 and then we have plus minus will be minus 1 then we have plus 5 so this will be minus 2 plus 6 that is 4 so the result for this one is 4 at a equals to minus 1 okay so that's the answer of part b of question number 4 now let's move to the question number 5 of exercise 9.3 here we are given certain expressions the first two we have to add the expression after simplifying them and then in the next two we have to subtract them after again simplifying them okay so let's start with the first one this is answer number five part a we have to add these expression okay so let's write them as in the addition form okay by adding all the terms that is first we have p into p minus q let's add it to q into q minus r and add it to r into r minus p so now we are going to multiply these first we are going to simplify these all the respective expression then we are going to add them okay so first multiply this p into p will be p square p into minus q will be minus pq and in the second term q into q will result as q square and q into r is minus qr okay then we have plus r into r will result as r square and r into minus p will be minus rp okay so that's the answer now what we are going to do is we will rearrange all the square term first by writing the square term first that is p square plus q square plus r square then we'll write this minus pq minus qr minus rp so that's the answer of the part a of question number five okay now let's see the part b of question number five here we have 2x multiply to z minus x minus y and we have to add this to 2y z minus y minus x okay so we are going to simplify them first and then we are going to add them so this 2x into z will be 2xz 2x into minus x will be 2 x square and 2x into minus y will be 2 x y okay then we have plus this plus 2y into plus z will be plus 2yz this plus 2y into minus y will give us minus 2y square and plus y 2y into minus x will be minus 2 x y okay so let's see if we have the same variable term as you can see here we have same variable 2 x y and the same variable here 2x5 so both are with minus sign so they will be added with the minus sign okay so let's rearrange the terms we have here first we will write this as minus 2x square then we have this minus 2y square okay these two terms will be added to so minus 2x and minus 2x will give us minus 4xy then we'll write the remaining two term which is plus 2yz and plus 2xz okay so that's the answer of for part b of question number five okay let's see the part c now we have to subtract the given terms okay so as you can see here we have the given that we have to subtract this from this term so at the place of from what we're going to do is First, you will write this term okay then we'll write the second term with the minus sign okay so let's start first we'll write the second term that is we have 4l like i said the term which is written after the 4 that should be written at the top or you can say 
first okay so we have 4 l minus 10 n minus 3 m plus 2 l okay and we have to subtract from this term what we have to subtract that this 2 uh, 3 l into l minus 4 m plus 5 m okay so what we did here is as the question says subtract this term from this one so we are going to write this term if you are doing in the by writing one of the other so this term should be written on the above side or if you are writing them in the same line then they should be written first then with the minus sign this uh, this first term here okay so like i have written here 4l minus 4l into 10n minus 3m plus 2l and we are subtracting this 3l into l minus 4m plus 5m okay so let's solve these expressions first this 4l into 10n will give us 40 l n then we have this 4 l minus 2 m will give us 12 l m and this 4 l into 2 l will give us plus 8 l square okay then write this minus sign write this bigger bracket now multiply the term this 4 l into l will be 3 l square this 3 l into minus 4 will be minus 12 l m and this 3 l into plus 5 this last one is n not m so the 3 l into 5 and n will be plus 15 l n okay so now we are going to solve open this bracket by changing the sign of all the term inside the bracket so we have 40 l n minus 12 l m plus 8 l square so when you open this bracket all the sign inside the bracket will be changed so this plus will change to minus 3 l square this minus will change to plus 12 lm and this plus will change to minus 15 ln okay now we'll find the like terms and unlike term and then we're going to add or subtract them okay so we have this 8 l square which is plus 8 l square and minus 3 l square this will result as 5 l square okay now you can see we have this ln and ln here so this 14 40 ln minus 15 ln will give us plus 25 ln and now you can see here we have minus 12 ln and plus 12 ln they will be cancelled out so what we get is it at the place of them 0 okay so that what we have with is a 5 l square plus 15 ln so that's our required answer as these two term will be cancelled out okay so that's the answer now let's see the part d of the question number five of exercise 9.3 here we have to subtract again this whole term from this term so again we'll write this term first then by sub minus sign this given term first one okay so let's write this as we have 4c multiplied to minus a plus b plus c then we have minus let's start the bigger bracket okay we are subtracting the first term here here that is 3a into we have a plus b plus c and we have to sub we have minus 2b and then inside the bracket we have a minus b plus c let's close the bracket so let's multi multiply the given terms first so we have 4c into minus a will be minus 4ac this 4c into b will be plus 4bc and this 4c into c will plus c will be 4c square okay write this minus sign between and start the bigger bracket now let's multiply the terms given inside the bracket that is 3a into a will be 3a square this 3a into b will be plus 3bab then we have 3 into c will be plus 3 ac okay then we have this minus 2b into a will be minus 2 ab then we have this minus b minus 2b into minus b will be plus 2b square and then we have this minus 2b into plus c will be minus 2bc okay now we are going to open this bracket by changing all the signs inside the bracket so that is we have 4ac ac plus 
4 pc plus 4 c square then we are going to reverse all the sign it is minus this plus will become 3 a square then we have minus 3 a b plus minus 3 a c plus 2 a b then minus 2 b square and plus 2 b c okay now we are going to see find out the like and the unlike term and we are going to add or subtract them okay so first we have this 3a we don't have any a square term so we will write this as first minus 3a square after that we have this b square term we don't have any other b square term here so we will write this as minus 2b square then we have this plus 4c square okay after that we have that this a 3ab and here also we have this plus 2ab so this 3ab minus plus minus 3ab and plus 2ab will give us minus ab this 4bc and this 2bc will result as plus 6bc and the remaining term is this 4ac and 3ac will result as minus 7ac okay so that's the answer of the part B of question number 5. With this we have completed all the 5 questions of exercise 9.3 and has concluded the exercise 9.3. So that's all for now everyone. Thanks for joining here everyone. Thank you.